Good afternoon. Welcome back again. I think everyone's um, just about joined us now, um, ready to, to get going on the, the webinar. So uh, welcome to Loaded's uh, second webinar of our, of our series. Um, and as you'll have seen, today we're going to talk about TrustSphere and their relationship analytics technology. So with us this afternoon, we've got Mark Paddington from TrustSphere. Good afternoon, Mark. Hi, Richard. So I'll hand over to Mark uh, shortly to um, to go through a little bit about TrustSphere and, and their technology. But um, just quickly cover the, the agenda. So as I said, I'll hand over to Mark shortly and he'll tell us a little bit about TrustSphere um, and their integration with, with CRM and why, uh, why they've done that. Um, we'll then go into a demonstration of uh, TrustSphere technology within Sugar CRM itself. So you can see uh, how those benefits can really um, sort of play out in Sugar. Okay. Now, if you do have any questions during this webinar, please feel free to, to send them in using your, uh, using your interface, and we'll try and circle back at the end and cover those. Without further ado, Mark, over to you. Thank you, Richard. Hi, everybody. Hi, my name is uh, Mark Edgington. I'm the Business Development Director for Australia and New Zealand at Trustphere. Uh, Trustphere was founded in Singapore in 2011, and we have offices in New York, London, and Sydney. Trustphere is a widely recognized market leader in relationship analytics. We enable forward-thinking organizations to unlock the inherent value of their own networks using our next generation technology. Our solutions provide real-time intelligence and insights which help their clients across the globe improve Salesforce effectiveness, enterprise-wide collaboration, and corporate governance. We deliver our solutions through leading-edge technology and business partners and we're very proud to say that Loaded Technologies is one of those. TrustSphere is a high growth technology company which operates at the nexus of forces. You may be wondering, what is the nexus of forces? This is the convergence and mutual strengthening of social media, mobility, cloud computing, and information patterns that are creating new business opportunities for organizations today. Relationship analytics provides previously unavailable levels of insight into true activity between your organization and your customers and prospects. By analyzing email and voice interactions, not the content, just the interactions, and then automatically pushing the resulting analytics into solutions such as Sugar CRM, the entire sales management is transformed. Our experience shows that sales and marketing professionals right across the organization benefit significantly from the use of these analytics. This helps them to deliver significant, better results and insights not previously seen. An organization's real-time communication logs are a rich source of data. These can be analyzed to provide unparalleled levels of insight into the relationships that its people and the teams cultivate amongst themselves with their clients, stakeholders, and suppliers. TrustVault provides that analysis. A proprietary relationship analytics platform, the TrustVault Relationship Analytics Server ingests communication logs, analyzes the data, and outputs actionable insights by performing the enterprise social graph. The graph can be utilized by multiple stakeholders within your organization. The resulting insights enable organizations to provide smarter management over activities such as sales to increase efficiency as well as develop their most valuable assets, their people. As you can see, TrustSphere has successful deployments across many customers across the globe. As you can see on the screen right now, there are some, uh, some very well-known brands. Recently, we were at the SugarCon in 2015 where TrustSphere was received and, and provided the, the following awards as Rookie ISP of the Year and Best in Class Customer Experience. The above quotation is from Clint Oram, the CTO of Sugar CRM. And Clint says that for businesses today, they must intelligently gather and organize as much data as possible to better engage their prospects and customers. Clint said that TrustSphere's relationship intelligence capabilities combined with the Sugar platform can not only drive sales and marketing productivity, but increase customer satisfaction by ensuring interactions are more timely and relevant. While CRM tools such as Sugar CRM have proven an extremely valuable repository of activity and progress, 
The manual nature of data entry has meant sales managers and sales team are often working from incomplete or out of date data. Depending solely on the CRM to manage the customer relationship is patchy at best, which can leave your customers vulnerable to attack from the competition. Because not everybody within the company will have access to the CRM and in general adoption is low. On average, less than 10% of all the customer interactions are ever entered into the company's CRM. TrustWare's sales analytics solutions addresses this challenge of incomplete information by providing an up to minute 360 degree view of accounts and who has been interacting with them. TrustWare makes Sugar CRM a system of insight as well as a system of record. It becomes a primary tool to be consulted, used and adopted in a daily sales process. Across the organization, Trustware relationship analytics can be utilized in different areas of business by sales managers who can access the independent data which clarifies the real status on accounts and opportunities, helps sales managers to identify exactly which accounts and opportunities are being neglected. The sales leaders can use them more, the information more effectively to manage their pipeline and renewals. Sales operations capture the real-time situation report or the relationship data with any client or prospect across the organization. This improves quality of the data and true visibility over customer engagement. And then finally, the sales executives. This provides them a true 360 degree view of all the interactions with their customers across the company. Often their colleagues without CRM licenses could have an interaction with a customer, for example, billing or technical support departments. This creates a visibility gap for sales executives and their relationship managers. TrustFit plugs this gap so that you are never blindsided, ensuring a coordinated corporate customer dialogue. I'll uh, hand you over to Richard, who will uh, give you a live demonstration of uh, TrustFit and Sugar CRM. Thank you very much, Mark. All right, that's, that's a bit about TrustFit and, uh, and who they are. So let's now dive into Sugar itself and then just show you how their technology integrated with Sugar um, really provides you some, some advantages and see the features of that. All right, so this, uh, this view or this dashboard will be familiar to a lot of you as, as Sugar users. So we'll start off with the, the homepage or the dashboard. And this is just to give you an example of some of the information we can have at a glance view, if you like. So the first two um, dash lists we've got here are, are list views of accounts and contacts, which will be um, fairly familiar to you. And you, see, you can see here we've got information that we would expect to have. So on the accounts level, we've got the account name, we've got the user who manages that account, the date the account was created. But as we go across, you can see we've now got some further information about the last contact with that account or the last interaction with that account, who it was within our within our organization that had that interaction and the last message in and last message out with that account. So you can see um, at a glance how frequently or how often or when the last contact was um, with that client account. And we've got the similar information over here at a contact level. So we can see the last, last contacted, who's who with and the last in, last out. Um, frequency. Okay, um, and just down here we've got a little dashlet here talking about um, month of last contact. So we've just got a sample set of data here with 23 accounts and that 23 accounts is broken into the month that there was last an interaction with that account and somebody within or our organization. So we can see here that there are yeah, quite a number of accounts that haven't been communicated with for, for some months which of course is a potential risk. All right, so let's dive a little bit deeper then into the system and um, we'll start off at the accounts level. So I'm going to go into the accounts module now and have a look at what we've got here. So first of all, on the right hand side of the intelligence pane here, we've got the same graph that we had on the front page, the month of last contact. We've also got the activity status um, of days since last contact here. And we've got a little graph here showing the account names and that time period. So you can see here obviously very easily the accounts that are potentially at risk because there's been no communication with them for, for some time. Okay, um, A little bit more down here about activity status which we'll come to in a bit more detail. So what I'm going to do now is dive into an account record itself. So let's go and have a look at LG Energy and this is where we get some, some real insights um, into, into a specific account. So 
Below our standard business card view here of uh, the key information about the account, we've got a messaging intelligence panel. So we can see here um, the last contact in and out, uh, so similar information that we had on a, on a dashboard level, who that contact was with within, within our organisation um, and when that last contact took place. And we've also got a trust view um, feature here which I will come back to um, at the end of the demonstration and give you a bit more of a, a bit more information about that. So if we move to the right hand side now into the intelligence pane there's a lot more information that we get at an account level. So the first one here we have is uh, monthly volume. So we're looking here at the monthly email traffic volume with this account both inbound and outbound and you can see here this account basically is, is pretty steady. Um, volume dropping off when we get to February, but of course we're still fairly early in February, so that data is still is still building. So from a from a regular communication point of view, we can see that this is is a pretty steady account. Well, moving on down, we have our communication review. So we're looking at um, the the last messages within a particular time period. So here I've got 14 days selected. I can change that around if I need to. You can see here I went, I moved to 30 days and I got uh, some more information. So we can see here in the last 30 days there have been three active contacts. Um, we can see who's at our end. So we've got Dana and Scott at, uh, at our end and we've got three contacts at the client end who have been interacted with in the last 30 days. Moving down we've got uh, latest messages. So again I can view a little bit more information here. So we can now see um, not only do we know that, uh, that Dana had the last contact with this organisation, we can now see who that was with um, at the client and we can see both the direction um, and the date and time of messages between Dana and, and Susan. You can see here um, they're bi-directional so there's, there's, there's ongoing communication happening. Moving on down, the next one I think is probably one of the most powerful uh, pieces of information you can get from, from Trustphere and that's potential contacts. So if I click on the information button here. Um, so what's happening here is that Trustphere is comparing the CRM contacts that we have in the system itself. So if I go down on the contact side here, these are the contacts we have in the CRM at the moment. These are contacts that Trustphere is identifying that are having interactions with um, people within our team, people within our organisation, but that do not exist in the CRM at the moment. So again, um, you know, very important information and potentially these contacts should be brought into the CRM um, so that those relationships are managed properly within that system. And if I want to add one or more of these contacts into the CRM, very, very simple function of just clicking on the, the plus sign against that contact. It fires up a new contact field, brings in the email address of that person. I can just fill in the uh, fill in any uh, any gaps that we have, i.e., their name, and save that contact into into the CRM. Moving down, with the next one is um, relationship strengths. No, so I'll just cover quickly on the uh, the potential contacts. You can also see the the trust score. So the trust score is um, a rating that trust uh, Trustphere gives each contact. Um, based on the volume and frequency of communication. So you can see here that this, this score is out of 12 um, and you can see all of these contacts have got a pretty high score. So they're certainly contacts that would appear to um, be, be needed to be in the CRM. Okay. okay, next one down is relationship strengths. So these are people within our organisation who have a relationship with the client and Trustphere is analysing the strength of the relationship that our internal people have. So we can see here Scott and Danny would appear to have the, the strongest relationships with this account at the moment. And then we've got the activity status. And what's happening here is Trustphere is analysing the, um, the interactions and the communication between our staff and the client uh, at an individual level. So telling us here we've got three slowing, um, three slowing engagements. Um, we've got three that have stopped. So a slowing engagement I think is beyond 30 days. There's been no communication beyond 30 days. Once we get beyond 90 we're regarding that communication or that relationship has, has, been, has been stopped. So it gives you a good snapshot of um, you know, the, 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 the frequency and the volume of, of communication across all of those relationships. Okay. All right, so that's um, the, the account level view. Um, let's go and have a look at the, the contact view. So I'm going to do the go into the contacts module here and we're going to go into a particular contact. So we're going to look at, at Susan from LG Energy.
So again, at the, uh, the contact field view, we've got the same information about last contact, last in and last out, and who by, and the, the trust view, uh, view as well, which we'll come back to. So we've got that information down at a contact level now. And then we've got the very similar um, dashlets on the intelligence panel, um, but again, this, this is looking at the individual relationship, not just not the company relationship. So here's our monthly volume between Susan and our team. And we can see here again, reasonably steady flow of, of communication. The relationship strengths between our individual members of staff and Susan. Um, there's our relationship between Dana and Susan. And we know that's quite strong because it's, there's ongoing communication right now. We've seen that from the, the technology. Here's our latest messages. Um, Dashlet giving us the latest interactions between um, Dana and, and Susan. And here's our activity status again, showing us the, uh, the relationships that are um, that are slowing or have or have stopped. Okay, so all of those very similar information available um, at a, a contact level. Okay, so let's just quickly dive into um, leads and opportunities. Um, so first of all, I'm going to go into uh, opportunities, um, and we've got similar information um, in here as well. So I'm looking at the opportunities view here, and on the right-hand side, we've got this date since last contact for for, an, for accounts. So very clearly, from a from a salesperson or sales manager's perspective, if we've got a number of days um, since the last contact with that account, and there's an opportunity here for that account, then that opportunity surely must be at risk because there's not an ongoing dialogue happening. Um, and then we've got the activity status again here showing the uh, the active slowing and, and stopped uh, conversations. Okay, If I go into the opportunity itself, we've got again our monthly volume of, of traffic and our activity status, our latest messages, our, our communication review and our relationship strengths. Okay, so very similar um, dashlets at each stage, again, at a, at a different point in the system. Um, and the last one we'll look at is leads. Okay, so I'll go into a particular lead, and we've got similar information here as well. So we've got our monthly volume, our activity status, our latest messages, and our relationship strengths. Okay, so very, very um, widely, widely sort of dispersed information through the system in those core modules that um, are important for that on that client interaction. Okay. All right. So what we're doing now is just show you um, the trust sphere view. So to do this, I'm going to go back to our account level view and have a look at again at LG Energy. So if I go to the uh, the trust view link here on the account and click this, what it now shows us is a graphical display of the relationships and the strength of those relationships within that account. Okay, so here we have, I'm going to try and uh, zoom in a little bit, so it'll give us a slightly better view. Okay, so here we've got, um, on the left hand side, we've got Susan McGee, so we know Susan has got a lot of interaction going on um, with contacts within our organisation. This gives us a graphical uh, representation of that. Um, and then it's the strength of the arrows are reflective of the perceived strength of the relationship. Okay, so we know at the moment that there's ongoing dialogue between Dana and Susan because we've seen that in, in areas of the system. And we've got here the strong arrows that indicate that that relationship is, is pretty strong. And then we've got other relationships that um, aren't quite as strong at the moment. And then moving across, um, we can see here that Scott has a relationship with Susan, but then Scott also has a relationship with three other people within LG Energy. And moving across here, we've got two others, Alan and Deborah, have got relationships with um, with shared contacts from, from Scott as well. And moving across here, we've got a, a little independent little relationship over here. So maybe this is senior management level or director level. Um, two people within our organization are uh, connected and interacting with, with Michelle. Okay, So a really nice graphical representation of the, the strength and the breadth of the relationships that we have with this account. Okay, um, just to show you a couple other things, if I click on, if I right click on, on Susan, we get to show some further information. So if I go to show details, this gives us a bit of a summary around the number of relationships Susan has with us, the number of uh, active relationships, our summary there around the first and last uh, messages, and the total messages. It also gives us a trust score here um, out of 50. 
um, as to the strength of that relationship of uh, of, of our relationship as a, as an organisation with with Susan. Okay. Um, another one here is we have expand internal relationships. So that actually does a little search and looks for additional relationships. And we've, we see here that we're pretty much covered with Susan at the moment. And the last one here is we combine the, the group. Um, and this allows us to combine the communication from the LG Energy account as a group across our um, across all of our contacts. Okay, um, And we can take that off at any point if we if we need to and go back to this view all right um, so hopefully that's given you a um, a really good feel for the trust sphere technology within within sugar serum and how some of the powerful insights and, and information um, it can give you Pete, any, any questions come in yes a couple of questions richard hi everyone um, so we've got a question coming in for mark um, mark is a is a trial available for trust sphere how would that and how would that work Yes, uh, definitely. Um, our customers can definitely trial um, relationship analytics into Sugar CRM, and uh, all they need to do is get back to the team here at Load Technologies, and uh, that can be facilitated. That sounds good. And for Trustphere, Mark, can you just give us a quick rundown on how the cost uh, the cost is structured for uh, Trustphere? Uh, the cost is um, is a subscription, and it's uh, per active uh, uh, Sugar license, so it's per month. Okay, so per user, sorry, per yeah, user per month, month model. Per, yeah. Okay. Right. All right. Great. Okay. And lastly, um, uh, how long would the setup or the, the deployment process take for someone who's already obviously already got sugar? Um, again, um, that's relatively quick. Um, so there's a bit of technical work, a bit of consulting to be done with the the team at Loaded Technologies. Uh, we've had customers up and running in, in less than a week. Uh, um, you know, it depends on the size of the organisation and the uh, customization that they were, would like to have, you know, which dashlets and everything else. But typically less than a week up and running and uh, reviewing their data. It's good, good. And a, and a bit of a technical question too, Mark. Um, where Richard was demonstrating that we could um, create a contact in Sugar from a uh, from the one of the contacts that Trustview found that weren't known. Um, I believe you. you can, which right clicked and, and then it added or created a contact, but it added the, the email address but no other data. The question is, can can more data be entered from that email address uh, entered into the community of the CRM? Uh, currently, we can't extract uh, extract the full name of whoever it is, i.e., Mark Hedgington at Trustphere, or wherever it is, predominantly because mail email servers only recognise email addresses. And that's where we extract the, the relationship information is from your core communication stream. So at this moment in time, no, we can't extract extract the actual uh, you know first name, last name. But uh, there are ways that we're working on with those uh, big email providers like Office three six five and Google Apps. Okay, great. Well, that's about it, Richard. Back back to you. Okay, guys. Um, thank you very much for uh, attending the webinar this afternoon. I think we're just about ready to, to wrap things up. So um, if you'd like to obviously have a deep, deeper look or talk further with us about TrustSphere technology, please get in touch on 802-828-2900 or go to our, our website, loadedtech.com.au, and uh, we look forward to talking to you then. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon.